this is Melissa Fuller with Shape of the City. A 2019 survey in Lancaster County showed that 27.5% of youth in this area used an e-cigarette in the last 30 days. That is up from 24% in 2015. Vaping is a serious issue, not only in Lancaster County, but nationally. To talk more about what's going on with vaping in our community, we are here with Rebecca Willoughby from Lancaster County, Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department, Abby Edgecombe from SKIP, and we are with Brent Tolson from Lincoln Public Schools. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. All right, let's, talk with, let's start talking with you. So why is this trend so troubling? So for the last 20 years or so, we've been working in tobacco control. And in 20, 2001, we had our highest smoking rates in Lancaster County at almost 30%. And over the last 18 years, we've had that drop down to 4.5%. And now with the rise in vaping since 2015, we're seeing a reversal of those gains. And we're now nearly as high with the e-cigarette use rate as we were with smoking nearly 20 years ago. So this is affecting youth especially, right? So yes. talk about the, the risk for youth. The main risk we see for youth right now is to brain development. It's been well documented over time that nicotine harms adolescent brain development. It can interrupt m learning, cause mood disorders, anxiety, and other problems, especially in schools. And we find that to be one of the biggest issues along with the current outbreak in pulmonary illness sweeping the country. And let's just define when you talk about adolescent, what mm -hmm. are you talking about when you're saying adolescent? For us, we say middle and, hi and high schoolers, so 18 and younger, about 13 to 18. Perfect, okay. And how are we addressing this currently in our community? So the health department has what's called the Tobacco Free Lancaster County Coalition and as part of that coalition we have a youth task force and that group has formed over 20 partnerships across our county with various entities including LPS and Skip who are here with me today to help educate our youth and families. All right, hi Abby. Hi. All right, tell us just really quick what is Skip? And some, what are some of the events that you guys are doing to raise awareness in the community as well? Okay, so SKIP stands for School Community Intervention and Prevention. So our role um, is to work with schools, parents, um, families, and community members to really raise awareness of behavioral health issues that impact our youth. Um, one of those is substance use. Uh, and so vaping has been a, a big issue that has really um, climbed to the top of our radar in all of our schools that we work in. Um, so this is definitely an issue that we're seeing all across the board. So within Lincoln Lancaster County, we work with about 60 schools and, and within all of our middle schools and high schools, this is a topic of conversation. Anytime there is a, a particular topic of interest or something that we're seeing more of a trend in, we really try to be proactive with that to get the message out to parents and our educators on how we can better support our students so that they can make healthier choices. So um, one of those efforts includes uh, our community awareness events that we partner with Lincoln Public Schools, Region 5, and Bryan Health um, to put on a series of events to bring education to families. And so we are hosting an event on October 24th uh, from 6.30 to 8 at Lincoln Southeast High School. Uh, that will be in the Commons area and we will have the Lancaster Health Department and Deputy uh, Jeremy Shores available to give a presentation on not just vaping um, but vaping and marijuana use as well. Wow. Okay, and what would you say are the ultimate goals of these community events? Really, it's to help engage parents in conversation, um, to raise awareness to students on, on perhaps the dangers uh, and the effects that those products have on their health and well-being, uh, to help provide education to educators so they know how to better support students as well. Um, but the, the overall goal, I would say, is really awareness. Thing. And what are some of the other things that you're, you're doing as well? So SKIP has a pretty solid presence in all of our schools in terms of providing prevention work as well. So that entails education, um, providing newsletters on topics of vaping and other um, issues related to e-cigarettes for parents and for our schools. Um, and then going into the classrooms as well and educating students on the risks. Perfect. All right, Brent. Yes. So you are right in the front line. You are the principal here at Lincoln Southeast. Yes, that's correct. Can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing? Well, you know, Rebecca referred to the survey, and she gave some kind of compelling statistics. We're seeing it here at Southeast, and I know my colleagues in the other high schools and middle schools for sure have talked about the increase in the possession of e-cigs and the use of e-cigs. Um, what makes it really concerning to us is um, it seems like we have more kids that are willing to try um, this um, device or whatever you want to call it because it's easy to conceal um, both in terms of the way they're designed and they're marketed to kids 
Um, they know that maybe they can get away with it and they're not going to get caught necessarily. And so they're a little bit more bold and taking risks as far as bringing those devices into our buildings. So um, whereas in the past we may have seen some kids standing on the corner smoking, we're seeing more and more actual usage and possession in our buildings. So Health Education Week is coming up in October. Can you talk about what are you guys doing for Health Education Week this year? Absolutely. We're really looking forward to having a week around awareness. Um, the focus is going to be on prevention, but also sending a strong message to maybe students that have started using these things that it's not too late to stop. Because the awareness piece will, I hope, highlight some of those risks um, that are being uh, more and more discussed. And maybe some of these kids, since some of these things are more recent, haven't really um, been aware of uh, some of the things that Rebecca talked about earlier. We also want to send messages through daily announcements. Um, we're planning on doing some stuff in our newsletters. Um, we're hoping that we can infuse some lessons into existing curriculum and there may be some opportunities for us to do some school-wide mini lessons around vaping. Uh, what would you say is parents should know from the school's perspective? What should they be understanding? Well, we want parents to know that we want to be partners with them, that we understand that parenting's hard, um, and that there may be some resources and other information that we have. And so if parents aren't sure who to turn to, they can always come to us as principals or contact uh, the district office uh, and just ask for some help, and then we'll make sure that we can give them the help that they need. Is there anything else you guys want to add uh, to our viewers, let them know what in terms of support that may, be, that may be out there, any other information about really knowing the importance of this? Uh, I know they've referred to it as an epidemic, especially for youth right now. What should people know? Um, at the health department, we just want people to be aware of the risk, understand what's happening, and work together to help protect the kids in our community. So we have the Tobacco Free Lancaster County website that people can get some information directly, or they can always call the health department as well and speak to us. I would just add that Skip um, as well has a, a website where we really work together with the health department to make sure we're getting the most up-to-date information out there and resources for parents. So we have some great fact sheets on there, how to talk to your kids about e-cigarettes and some other reports that they can tap into if they just want to um, increase their own knowledge uh, before they have those discussions with their kids. And if they, have, if they have questions for the school, what should they do? You know, I would say reach out to your building principal. Um, you can always call student services at the district office and they can help direct uh, parents to uh, the appropriate agencies or resources within the building. So since 2008 when the Surgeon General declared the youth vaping epidemic, we really have stepped up our partnerships in the community and we want people to know that we're available and if you're interested in doing more, contact the health department and we'll be happy to talk to you. Well, thank you guys. Everything you're doing is important and it's appreciated here in the community. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.